Nothing like pitting two hot heads against each other. Let's see who would win in a fight between Johnny Storm, aka the Human Torch of the Fantastic Four, and Lamplighter of the Seven from The Boys. Let's start with the ability to fly. Given that it's definitely like one of the top three superpowers people pick if given the opportunity. Lamplighter in the comics has a special lantern that serves multiple purposes. First, it acts as a conduit for his powers, creating fire for him to manipulate. It also allows him the ability to fly should he lift it over his head. This ability never Never appears in the show, however. Meanwhile, Johnny Storm in every depiction, whether it be the page or the screen, has the ability to fly. The fire that emanates from his body can propel him through the air, giving Human Torch this distinct advantage. The next facet to look at is just how these two fireballs acquired their power. The Human Torch was part of the Negative Zone Bruh. incident that gave all the Fantastic Four their powers. Johnny was well into adulthood when this happened. He was an experienced pilot and bachelor who had already, for lack of a better word, matured. Lamplighter, on the other hand, was created using Compound V when he was four years old. While it started with him burning his house down, Lamplighter had the chance to master his powers from a young age, which gives him the leg up on the Human Torch. We already talked about this ability as it is hand in hand with their flight, but the way these two create fire differs just slightly. This slight difference, however, gives one a huge advantage. Lamplighter needs a conduit. He cannot create fire from thin air. Whether it be a lantern, a campfire, or a pocket lighter, once a flame is created, Lamplighter can grow it, use it, throw it, and cause absolute devastation. However, that's nothing compared to Johnny Storm who can make flame appear from his bare hands. So basically, if you just put these two in a room with no resources, it's no contest. While their powers are important, that's not all that matters in a fight. Who is willing to give that final blow? Well, based on their personality, it's clearly Lamplighter. The worst Johnny can be is slightly immature. And sure, he's lost his temper from time to time, but he's a hero. Lamplighter's just pretending to be one. Truthfully, he's ruthless and inhumane. He's a self-interested villain posing as a hero, much like many other quote-unquote heroes in The Boys. This lack of moral compass gives Lamplighter an edge. Fire in the hands of Lamplighter accomplishes one goal, to burn and destroy. However, Johnny Storm is much more creative with his control over flames. He can shape it and use it to trap villains instead of just destroying them. This helps Johnny overcome his more heroic personality. He's created cages, lassos, and even more in order to not incinerate his opponents. These shapes ultimately dissipate, but they are a great short-term solution. In a fight, it's always good to have backup. So which hothead has a better team in his corner? Johnny has Marvel's first family, and it's a fantastic team that is well-rounded. They have Stealth with Sue Storm, Brains with Reed Richards, and Incredible Brawn with The Thing. However, as great as that is, it just doesn't compare to The Seven. Sharing the same inhumanity as Lamplighter, people like Homelander, The Deep, or Black Noir outmatch the members of the Fantastic Four incredibly, and unfortunately for Johnny Storm, they don't hold back. Intensity of heat may seem redundant when both superpowered people can destroy anyone, but the difference really shows a distinct power level advantage. Lamplighter can melt metal and engulf and burn anyone, but the comics never dive into just how powerful his fire is like they do with the Human Torch. Johnny has achieved a Nova Flame, registered at more than 1 million degrees Fahrenheit. It's said that this attack could even destroy the moon. Needless to say, point Johnny. This next one could be seen as a strength at times, but often it's a hindrance. The reliance on a team puts Johnny at a disadvantage. The Fantastic Four are more than just a superhero team. They're a family, and as such, they are basically attached at the hip. When they are separated, that bond weakens just a little bit. When Johnny's on his own, it's as if three pieces of him are missing. With Lamplighter and the other soups, this problem doesn't really exist as they all really only look out for themselves. Given that they both primarily deal with fire, a resistance to it would be the biggest advantage. The Human Torch can completely engulf his body in flames and stay that way for long periods of time. Essentially, fire does nothing to him. Lamplighter, on the other hand, cannot say the same. He is definitely unable to engulf his body in flame, and the one time he did, it was actually to kill himself. Given that this suicide attempt was successful, it's safe to say that fire bothers him a lot more than Johnny. And now, your winner. That last point kind of gives it away, huh? These two superpowered beings may seem very similar at first glance, but between his power levels, creativity, and the fact that literally none of Lamplighter's attacks can hurt him in any way, the clear winner is the Human Torch. And there you have it, the fieriest battle ever to commence. Sure, Lamplighter got a few good licks in, but at the end of the day, heroes usually triumph over self-interested soups. Did we get it right? What other soups from the boys could take on the Human Torch?